afternoon to all of you. Um, okay, so today, so we will go on the last uh, topic, which is the superposition for the AC circuit. Actually, it's the superposition is not meant for AC circuit only. It is actually... Uh, the advantage of the superposition is when you have uh, a variation of the supplies, okay? Eh, superposition pula. Superposition. Doctor, sorry, can I ask you one question? Yeah, okay. Yeah, doctor, the, yeah. for the test, uh, okay. the, for the AC port, what will come is only for the basic ohms law. Okay, uh, so your test two, uh, the first one is the DC circuit. This one, I this one is actually Tivenin. Yeah, Tivenin and Norton. Tivenin and Norton, actually, this one is, uh, I think, the, no the superposition will not come. Uh, no, no, superposition will be in your final exam. There is uh, one question on that superposition. Okay, and then for the AC circuit. We have the the sinusoidal, the basic okay, sinusoidal uh, transformation to phaser, right? For example, you have been given uh, V1 is a uh, 10 cos uh, 100T and then your V2 is a uh, 5 sine 100 T minus 10 degrees. So, um, so from this uh, comparison of of the voltage so of the voltage value, please uh, obtain what is the V1 minus V2, for example. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it's like that for the first uh, for the first AC circuit. So what you need to do is actually you need to convert first okay the sign into cos right and then convert into phaser okay, okay. because the, the the requirement if you want to compare to do comparison meaning that subtraction or addition you need to make sure that the function must be the same for both waveform okay that oh, is okay. for the first part of the ac circuit and for the second part is actually a basic Ohm's law. So, Doctor, the merge and the nodal will not no, come? No, no, no. Okay, great. Okay, okay. thank you. So, Doctor. basic Ohm's law is actually, uh, I think, a very simple one. It's like a DC circuit, which is, uh, the actually, the analysis is actually similar with the DC circuit. The only step that you need, the, end, the only extra step is actually, you need to convert the circuit into a phaser circuit. That is the only difference. Okay. So I hope you okay, okay. You, you you understand that. Okay. So actually, okay. on our AC circuit is actually uh, will be in a phaser equivalent circuit, not time based. Okay. Okay. So let's go on the superposition. I think uh, I will not. I will skip the theory. Okay. Because uh, I hope you have already know about the superposition. So the superposition, uh, as you know, is actually uh, a very good uh, solution or, or, or method that when you have a different uh, voltage source, okay? Not meaning that different voltage source in terms of the value, but it actually de depends on the types of the voltage source. So as you can see here, we have this one is AC circuit. Eh, sorry, this one is AC source, but this one is DC source. So the difference between AC and DC is actually this AC source, we have frequency, which is the omega here, which is the omega is 100 radian per second. Okay, meaning that your waveform of the voltage is actually a is actually a cyclic waveform. Okay? So, this cyclic waveform is actually in, we have this period and so on, okay, where your omega is actually 2 pi f, okay, the frequency of the sub, of the waveform. While for the DC source, is actually 
the omega here is zero because uh, DC source is actually a constant. This is time, voltage versus time. While for the DC source, this one is the voltage versus time. As you can see, it is a constant, five volt. Mean that it is a not a cyclic waveform. So that's why your omega is zero. Okay. And if you refer to this inductor value, so the inductor value, which is your reactance, because our calculation is based on reactance, okay? So XL is actually omega L, okay? So as you can see there, we have omega here. And this omega is depends on the value of the, om of the omega of the source. So right now, you have two types of source which one we have omega of 100 radian per second and the other source is omega is equal to zero radian per second so to calculate the reactance value so which omega that you need to use is it 100 or is it zero okay so that is the problem when you have a circuit that has different type of uh, sources okay so by by using the superposition this can be uh, can be simply solved okay very very easy so for example you have the question here calculate the current here what is the current values okay so the superposition as you may recall is actually you need to only turn on one source only while the other source must be turned off okay so the solution for this one so i use a diff, uh, a very simple uh, circuit here because just to show the 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 concept okay so this it is actually can be uh, obtained from the combination of i1 prime right i prime and i double prime where i1 prime is actually is due to vac okay so meaning that this one so the second source which is the dc source you need to kill Okay, you need to turn off the voltage source. So that's why when you turn off the voltage source, so V is equal to zero. So when V is equal to zero, meaning that your voltage source is uh, short circuited. Okay. Okay. So right now, this is actually uh, your circuit. Okay, your circuit. When you kill the DC source. Okay. So, uh, and then you convert the voltage source into a phasor voltage uh, equivalent, which is 5, the magnitude, and the phase difference is 0. Okay, the phase is 0 here. Okay. And what is your XL? So, your XL, which is J. Okay, sorry, this one is J, must have J, imaginary. J and the omega you can get from the voltage source itself which is 100 so 100 multiply with 0 0.02 we will give you 2 ohm okay and the current here this is the current i prime okay i prime oh sorry because this one is a phasor so just i okay capital i Okay, because this one is actually not time, uh, it's not time domain. This is a, what you call a phasor domain. So, capital I. So, from here, this one, we assume, usually we assume this one positive, negative. Okay, so your current will be uh, negative. Okay, if you're not, uh, maybe if you're not very confident, so you can just use uh, this one i positive here this one must be negative okay because the current must entering the positive terminal of the elements so i multiply with j2 okay is equals to sorry 
plus 5, 0 volt, okay, is equal to 0, right? So your I is negative 5 over J2. So this one negative 0. And then you know that actually J is actually represent in a polar is actually positive 90 degrees. Okay. So from here I can calculate this one is negative 2.5 with an angle of negative 90 degrees amperes. Okay, that is my I, I prime, okay, I prime. Okay, next is uh, I double prime. So I double prime is due to VDC. Okay, so you need to kill the voltage source of the AC source. Okay. And turn on the DC. So right now, this one is your 5 volt DC. And calculate your XL. So right now, your XL is J omega L. So what is your omega here for the DC voltage? Which I have already told. I'll tell you. What is the value? Zero. Zero. Okay. So meaning that this one is zero. So zero multiplied with 0, 0.02 Henry. So this one is zero ohm. Zero ohm meaning that this one is actually can be considered as a short circuit. Okay. So. Oh, ni tak jalan ni. Tak boleh jalan ni. The current. Oh, this one. Tak boleh. It's not, cannot. It's not possible lah. Sorry. This, this, this uh, example is not possible to be like this. Uh, sebab dia ni zero. Okay lah. Let's say lah. Let's say. Okay, sorry. We push, we, we revert back. Okay. Uh, we revert back. So, sorry for that. Okay. For example, uh, this one. Eh? This one is actually not a DC voltage. This one is also AC. Okay. AC also. Okay. But the value is 10. Cos uh, 50T, for example. Okay. 50T. Okay. So... So your I double prime here is due to the yang V10 lah. So yang ni is actually V5 eh. Is due to V5 volt. Yang ni V10 lah. Okay. So same again. So positive negative. So the value is 10 right. Magnitude. And the angle is 0 right. So your XL is J. Multiply with omega. So right now your omega is 50. Multiply with 0 0.02. You should get this one is around 0. Um, it's around 0 0.1 is it? 0 0.02 multiply with 50. 1. So J1. And this is the current I double prime. Okay. So, I double prime, I think if you use the KVL, okay, yang ni pun sama tadi, use KVL like this, right, current, so this one is so current, my, this one is negative 10, and then multiply, uh, plus the current, I double prime, multiply with J50, so is equal to 0, so my I double prime, is positive 10 angle 0 j oh, j50 pula j1 sorry this one is j10 so j10 so i have this one is negative 90 degrees okay 
So my final answer, so right now I have uh, my I prime due to the 5 volts is negative 2.5, negative 90 degrees. And my I double prime is 10 amperes. Okay, sorry, this one is 10 amperes, negative 90 degrees. So, okay. So you cannot actually uh, sum up, okay, because I prime is due to omega 100. And I double prime is due to the omega 50. Okay. Okay. 50 radian per second. This one is radian per second. So you cannot add up. Okay. Please don't add up because uh, the frequency for the uh, voltage source 5 volt and 10 volt is different. Okay. So the total current, you just leave it the answer like this. Okay, so I prime, I prime plus I double prime, which is your I prime. So the magnitude is negative 2.5. Okay, and then uh, cos. Okay, your omega is 100, right? 100T minus 90 degrees plus 10. And uh, this one is cos. And the omega is 50. So 50T minus 90 degrees. So just leave your answer like this. Okay. So this is your correct answer. Do not add up. Because you cannot add up these two current. Because these two current comes from different type of voltage source. Okay. You can actually also, uh, this one because maybe some of you didn't prefer to have this negative. Okay. So actually you can convert negative because we know that this one is negative 1, right? Negative 1 multiplied with 2.5. Positive 2.5 with negative 90 degrees. So negative 1 in a polar form is 1, 180 degrees. Negative, right? Correct? Okay, multiply with positive 2.5, negative 90 degrees. So this one, finally, you will obtain. So magnitude, multiply with the magnitude 2.5, positive. And the angle is right now is negative 180, negative 90. So negative 270 degrees. Okay. So you can also write down like this. 2.5 cos 180 minus 270 degrees plus 10 cos 50t minus 90 degrees this one is also correct okay so this is actually the this one is actually the step on how I can uh, remove this negative because this one negative is actually negative one multiply with 2.5 negative 90 degrees okay so which is negative one you can actually in a polar form is one with an angle of negative 180 degrees okay please be also noted that if you have negative j1 this one is 1 with an angle of negative 90 degrees. Or if this one is J1, it's actually 1 with an angle of positive 90 degrees. If you have a real number 1, so in a polar form, is 1 with an angle of 180 degrees. If this one negative 1, so this one is 1 with an angle of negative 180 degrees. Any questions? 
before we proceed to the next example for the superposition okay thank you very much okay so let's look on the second example i think i need to clear up this screen here This one is a very good, I think. So the, the Microsoft whiteboard because the space. Yes, uh, okay. Yeah, I will upload my 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 this video in the YouTube channel as soon as possible. Because this week is a very very really busy week because um today, tomorrow we have a lot of presentation. We have the the final year project presentation. Uh, master project presentation, PhD project presentation. We have also the third year uh, student presentation. The third year, uh, sorry, fourth year student presentation for the capstone. So I think maybe you have already heard about the capstone. So for the fourth year student for semester one, you are compulsory to do the capstone project. Okay. Uh, so this week we have a lot of, this week and next week, we have a lot of presentations. Okay, so I'm we are very busy right now for the this week. Okay, um, okay, let's see this example. So calculate uh, the current I using I think maybe I forgot to using superposition. Okay, so right now as you can see this one. Uh, usually the polarity we assume like this lah. Okay. Unless it if the polarity is given, okay. Usually for default for the AC uh, source for the phase representation, usually uh, the polarity if not given, so the default is like this lah. So usually like that. Okay. Okay. So as you can see here, we have a uh, inductor and also a resistor here. And we have two source, AC source, that different omega. I think the current here is I. So since you have uh, these two source, meaning that you the current is actually the summation of uh, two different current, which is I prime and I double prime. Okay. So find I prime first. Okay. So you need to convert into a phaser. So positive, negative. Uh, okay, so this one I think no problem. So you need to kill. So I prime is due to this uh, uh the first voltage. Okay, five uh five volt here. So you need to kill uh this voltage source, the second voltage source. So when you kill, meaning that this one. So the voltage source when you turn on or, or turn off or kill it is become short circuit okay for the current if you have a current source you set current is equal to zero so meaning that it is open okay open circuit okay please be noted here for the current source if you turn off the current source, so meaning that the current value is zero. Okay, the current source value is zero. So it is equivalent to the open circuit. For the voltage source, when you kill the voltage source, okay, so V is equal to zero. So when V is equal to zero, it's equivalent to short circuit. Okay, please be noted this one. This one is very important. Okay, so right now V is zero and the current here is i prime okay i prime so there is no t here because this one is actually a phaser representation so uh this one is five with an angle of zero and your xl here i think i just put j uh, multiply okay 0 0.02 multiply with 100 okay i think 2 ohm okay 0 0.02 multiply with the omega and the resistor value is remain the same. 
So calculate your current right now. So this one, if you see that uh, 10 ohm is parallel with uh, a short circuit here. So this one, you can actually um, redraw your circuit like this. Because uh, anything uh, zero uh, parallel with 10 ohm, you will have zero ohm. Okay, so that's why. Anything that uh, parallel with a short circuit, so uh, the value resistance, uh, the impedance equivalent here is uh, equivalent to zero. Okay. But the current still remain the same here. This is your I. So, PPL here. So, this one must be positive, negative. Okay. So, I multiply with J2 plus 5, 0. So, if this one is equal to 0. So, your current will be negative 5, J2. So, this one is negative 2.5 with an angle of negative 90 degrees. Okay. Actually, uh, in, the, in the the logic here, okay, why I here is said it's really the same because if anything, a circuit, for example, this resistor, this one is short circuit and then you have a resistor that is connected. Okay, and then this one is your current source. Uh, for example, 10 amperes. Okay, this one may be 10 ohm. So, the current here will have, actually if you see, we have two branch. Okay, but the behavior of the current, it will flow uh, the, inside the branch that has the lowest resistance. Okay, so right now, uh, since you you have two branch, this one zero resistance, and this one is ten ohm. So all the current will go here. So this one is ten ampere, and this one is zero. Okay, so that's why, as you can see here, um, the current here is still remain the same because there is no current that will go at 10 ohm okay next is um, i double prime So I double prime uh, short circuit. So you need to re to kill the first voltage source. Okay, and then this one you have two with an angle of zero. Sorry, this one. So this one is J, uh, 0 0.02 multiplied with 50. So your omega is 50. So 0 0.02. So this one is 1 ohm. Okay. The current is here. Your I double prime. Ni tak nampak. I double prime. Okay. So this one, you can see that uh, 10 ohm and J1 is parallel, okay, because it share two knots. So I can redraw my circuit. So two with a zero. 
so it is actually a combinate is a parallel so 10 parallel with j1 so this one 10 uh Ten multiply with J one over ten plus J one. Okay, so this one is J ten. This one is ten plus J one or by using calculator mode complex. So ten I over 10 plus 1 I. okay convert into a polar so 0 0.11 i think equivalent to 1 with an angle of negative 84 degrees boom here okay so right now as you can see actually the current is here right now okay so that is your i Right, which is your current source. So uh, the current I double prime, which is um, voltage over the equivalent resist equivalent impedance one with an angle of four, you should get this one is two eighty four degrees amperes. So your total I T is the summation of I prime and I double prime. So this one is negative 2.5 cos 100 T minus 90 degrees plus 2 cos 50 T. Okay, 50 T plus 84 degrees amperes. So this is your uh, current, the total current using the superposition technique. Uh, okay. I have one question here. Uh, yes. If you put, for example, if you put uh, these values, negative two point five, angle negative ninety degrees, your calculator cannot calculate it. It will give you a syntax or error or math error because your calculator it cannot define. Uh, the many the negative magnitude if you put negative 2.5 it cannot define okay uh dia jadi pening lah senang cerita okay your calculator uh, can only uh and can only receive positive values of the magnitude only if you put negative 2.5 negative there so your calculator will be um uh, produce an error okay so that's why usually uh the magnitude should be in a positive so but in order to uh make it a positive okay you need to know how to make it negative to be positive okay so you know this one is negative one so you need to extract this one. So 2.5 with a negative 90 degrees, right? So negative one. So this one should be, okay, um, one negative 180 degrees. Multiply with 2.5 in angle 90 degrees. So if you put, if you enter these values and these values, it will calculate it for you. So the answer is actually 2.5 negative 270 degrees. So you need to um, what you call uh, to convert negative value into positive values. So, but how to convert negative to positive is actually by using this uh, relationship. Negative one is actually equals to one with an uh, angle of negative one hundred and eighty degrees.
yes, it's also okay if you want to leave your answer in a negative value. Still okay. Still okay. Uh, but please be remind lah if you, for example, if you the calculation eh, in during the calculation or uh, your calculation eh, you tak dapat, you haven't yet got the final value, final answer and so on, and then somehow you come out with uh, you your answer is negative, okay, negative two point five, and then this one you need to multiply with another voltage and so on. So please be noted that you cannot do that, okay. So what you need to do is actually you need to convert into positive. Uh. So kalau you dalam in the middle of calculation kan you dapat calculate, calculate you 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 dapat value of the current is negative kan and then you look type and then you and then after that you nak kena dapatkan voltage for example kan for the voltage drop across the resistor and so on but the current that you got is negative 2.5 and then negative 90 multiply pula dengan voltage okay nak multiply kan tapi when you you key in the values negative 2.5 some, somehow the vote, the calculator become uh, say that it is syntax error or math error. It cannot calculate for you. So how to do? Okay, how to solve that? Is actually you need to know this lah. Okay, uh, negative. How to convert from negative magnitude to positive? Okay. So any questions regarding the superposition for AC circuit is really not an AC circuit lah. The, it can be this kind of questions for your final exam uh, will be a combination of AC source and DC source. Okay, uh, so please bear in mind lah. Uh, the only difference is actually the DC source is uh, omega is zero. Uh, the omega is zero. So that's why uh, that's why for the DC circuits, uh, for example, if you have, a, for example, X, eh, uh, capacitor, eh, capacitor is 1 over J omega C or sometimes also negative J, 1 over omega C, okay, negative J because you have, you put negative, you put J at the upper side, so it become negative, okay, or XL is J omega L. So that's why when for the DC circuit, if you, for example, you have a DC circuit, 5 volt, and then you have a resistor, this one 5 ohm, and then you have a capacitor, a capacitor for example. Okay, for a, for a DC circuit with a capacitor RC here, the omega here is zero. So meaning that this one, one over zero. So this one will become infinity. Your XC, is infinity so when it is infinity meaning that uh, it can be represented as an open circuit so that's why for the capacitor in the DC circuit it is this is is open circuit okay and if you have an inductor okay in the DC circuit omega is zero so as you can see here so that's why you have zero ohm so for DC circuit the inductor is act as a short circuit. So that's why in the DC circuit, uh, the analysis is quite simple because uh, because the inductor and capacitor don't have any effect. The capacitor will be open circuit and the inductor will be short circuit. So the only uh, element that inside the DC circuit is resistor. Okay, but when you're dealing with AC circuit, Yes, you have the effect of the inductor and the effect of the capacitor because the value of the reactance of the capacitor and the reactance for the inductor is depends on the omega. So if your omega is very big, so your reactance will be very big for the inductor and very small for the capacitor. Okay. Because uh, all our calculation is not based on uh, C. For example, for the capacitor, is we the calculation is not depends on Farad. It's actually based on Ohm. So which is the reactance. Okay. So the reactance value is according to the omega. Okay. So.
Uh, so let's move to the next example. This one is actually come from your friend. Uh, this one is actually a DC circuit. Just want to clarify something with you. So this one maybe I will put inside our WhatsApp group. Okay. The okay, so uh, using superposition technique, uh, obtain the Vx. So Vx here is this one. Sorry, uh, Doctor, I have uh, some internet connection problem. So okay. can you send the uh, upload the video in the YouTube after we finish? Yes, 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 of course. As soon okay. as possible. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. So uh, this VX is 10 ohm. Okay, meaning that the voltage drop across 10 ohm. So, uh, so you have a three voltage source here. Uh, sorry, three sources here. So meaning that uh, your is very big. So your VX is should be have this one is a all DC source. Okay, so VX prime, VX double prime, and VX uh, triple uh, triple prime. Okay. So actually, this one can be easily used. Uh, can be easily solved by using mesh or nodal, but um, but since this question asks you to use superposition, so meaning that you need to kill uh, only turn on one source and turn off the other source. So we need to actually calculate this circuit three times. Okay. So okay. So let's say that your Vx is due to this ninety volt Vx Vx prime. Okay, due to the 90 volt. So uh, you need to calculate here. So this one is 90 volt. This one uh, 30 or 80. Eh? This one 30. The original one apa, 30 ke 80? I think 30 got. And confirm lah. Can I confirm that is a 30 ohm? Yes, 30. I think 30. Uh, 30, yes, 30. Okay, and then this one is 60 ohm. And then this one is your VX 10 ohm. So, and then the other one, the current source here, as you can see, is must be off. Off meaning that your current source is right now open circuit, okay? Because the current is zero. So, this one open circuit. And then you have this one is 30 ohm. And then this one is 20 ohm. And this one voltage source is short circuited. Okay, this is the circuit for to obtain the Vx prime. So the Vx, so this one is your Vx, positive and negative. Okay, so right now, the problem is actually um, how to simplify this circuit. Okay, you will see that um, the problem that your friend asked me is actually where to use the source transformation. Because we know that the source transformation if you have a voltage source series with a resistor, you can convert it into a current source parallel with a resistor. It's like a Norton and Tivinian representation, right? So it is convertible, interchangeable. So if you have this kind of uh, circuit, you can also convert into a voltage source with a resistor where this one, for example, Vs, this one is Rs, so your IS, this one is your IS. So your IS here, if for example, from this one into this one, IS is VS over RS. And this value of the resistor is RS. 
Okay, same. If you have a uh, current source, you want to convert into a voltage source. So your Vs is Is multiplied with Rs. Okay. So actually this source transformation theorem is uh, is not the main uh, is not the main method okay to solve the circuit it's actually a, what we call a theorem that can help you to simplify uh, the circuit so that the analysis become easier okay so right now uh, as you can see here, we have uh, uh, several resistor that are, um, I think this one is parallel, this one, okay. So why not, so right now, so it's up to you if you want to convert this into a source information or not. Okay, it's actually not a compulsory, it's an option. Okay, for example, um, I can see that maybe I, this, the circuit will become simpler if I change, if I change this into a equivalent current source with a parallel RS. So, so this one, I convert. So it will become this one. So this one, my current source right now is 90 volt over 30. Okay, so... This one become 3 amperes, right? And this value of the resistor is same with the original resistor, 30 ohm. And then uh, the original here, 60 ohm. Okay, so meaning that this is after the conversion, okay? After the conversion. Okay, so still this one is your v my Vx. And then I have another one. The, but this one, as you can see, is actually parallel. Okay, so 30 parallel with 20. So 30 multiplied with 20 over 50. So this one is uh, 30 multiplied with 20 over 50. So I got 12 ohm. So this one is 12 ohm. Okay, and then as you can see also, this one is parallel. Okay, so meaning that I can uh, simplify the circuit further. So this one is 3 amps. So this one is will become 30 parallel with 60. So 30 multiplied with 60 over 90. So 20 ohm. So 12 ohm, this one uh, Vx, which is a value of 10. Okay. Now, as you can see, oh, this one looks complicated, right? Because I, I want to have a voltage, but this one is a current source. Why don't I change back to the voltage source? So this one, I can change back to the voltage source. Okay, so I will have this one. Uh, the value of the voltage is 3 amps multiplied with 20 ohms. So this one will be 60 volts with a resistor value which is 220 ohm. Okay. And then uh, we have 10 ohm here which is you see one is Vx. And this one is 12 ohm. Okay. So this one is the after the conversion. So right now, as you can see, it's become simpler because uh, I have a voltage source in series with a three resistor. So from here, I can get my Vx prime. Okay, this one is my Vx prime. Is just uh, using a voltage division technique. Okay, so ten multiply with uh, over the all the resistor. So twenty plus ten plus twelve multiply with sixty volts. So so I will obtain my answer around. So 20 plus 10 plus 12 over 10. Okay, sorry. And then inverse multiply with 60. So I got my Vx prime is 14.284. And then 
uh, you need to proceed with the VX to prime, double prime, VX triple prime, and so on. Okay, so this is just a uh, example actually on how we can use the source transformation to simplify uh, your circuit analysis. Okay, from here you can see that oh, this one I have a current source, so and then I have a two resistor parallel, rather than you uh, use a mesh or nodal or any kind of theorem. Okay, it's better for if it, it depends. It is an option to actually to um, simplify the circuit by using source transformation. Okay, but for this example, I can see that I can uh, make advantage of the source transformation by simplifying the circuit. Okay, reducing the number of branches and so on to this one. And I can see that this one, uh, if I leave it my my circuit like this and con and then calculate the Vx, so it, it may have some uh, time consumption here, okay? Because it is as a one resistor that is parallel with this one and so on. So why not I just uh, source transformation, convert this current source and the resistor here into its equivalent voltage source. So my life is become, will become easier, right? So that is uh, the way on why, how to, to use this source transformation theorem. It's not a compulsory, it's an option. Okay. Okay, I think that's all from me uh, for today class. Okay, so tomorrow class will be our last class for this semester. And but tomorrow I have capstone project presentation at 9 until 12 noon. And at the same time also, I have appointment for my vaccination booster, the third dose, which is happen to be tomorrow also at 12 noon. So, um, and our class starting at 11. So I am, I think the dose will be, maybe I maybe can be, uh, boleh cepatkan sikit kot. So, I am requesting for the class for uh, requesting from you to for the next class for tomorrow starting at 12. Okay, so that because that one is the our last class. So I think is is uh, I think perlu ada lah kot eh. Okay, starting at 12 noon. Okay, starting at 12 noon. So I hope I my 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 booster vaccination uh, appointment maybe kalau saya cepat boleh dapat cepat. Uh, okay. And uh, the capstone presentation since is online, so I think I will uh, do the assessment at the vaccination center. Okay. It's not far from my 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 home, my house. The vaccination center is quite. Uh, I think around maybe 10 minutes drive from here. No problem at all. Okay. And so starting, uh, so for our class, next class tomorrow is 12 noon. Okay. So I think all agreed. Okay. So please be noted on that. Lah. So 12 noon. Eh? So for tomorrow, uh, I don't know what to do. Maybe some, uh, maybe one or two examples lah from, from the final exam, the previous final exam, and so on. Or maybe if you have some uh, previous or maybe circuits that you cannot solve, okay, maybe you can uh, give it to me, uh, message me through the group or maybe personally. So, and then we will discuss it uh, by tomorrow. Okay. So, I think that's all from me. Uh, thank you very much for your cooperation uh, so for that uh, assalamualaikum and have a very good day waalaikumsalam doctor thank you doctor okay thank you doctor thank you doctor